Looking today at the electricity that was used within the last 12 hours in Queensland, in here in Australia, I'm utterly baffled by what's going on here. So much coal, so much coal, and yet today it was sunny in Queensland. It's sunny all day. It's one of the sunniest places on the entire planet. So much coal is being used, but we know why this is happening. We also know that it's about to change. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Solar. Here's the thing, guys. I just had a new solar system installed. It's amazing. The efficiency is incredible. It's soaking up so much energy from the sun. I will have a video coming up soon showing you guys the actual solar system, who did it, who built it. If you want to check out the company that I used, uh, they have the best reviews in Australia of any solar company. In fact, they've got better reviews for, than any other company that I've ever seen, no matter what the, no matter what the niche. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description to that company and they will give you a bit of a discount if you mention me. So solar, that's the one problem, right? A lot of this solar is being wasted even in Queensland because so much solar is being generated. Then in the night, in the evening, uh, it's not being stored. It's not being stored, so it's all just being wasted. But one of the biggest batteries in the world is about to be built in Queensland. And this is just the beginning because this is going to set off a chain reaction of a number of huge batteries that are going to be coming to Queensland and they will transform Queensland in a, in a big way. Queensland will become a little bit like Adelaide. Right? Adelaide now uses very few fossil fuels, minuscule percentage. About 90% of Adelaide's energy comes now from purely from renewable energy. And we're not talking about rivers providing energy. We're not talking about hydropower. We're talking about actual wind, solar, and batteries. An Australian developer has revealed plans for an enormous 3.4 gigawatt hour battery, which will be one of the biggest batteries in the world. Libra Energy unveiled its first major Australian renewables project, announcing plans to build an 850 megawatt, 3,400 megawatt hour long duration battery storage system in Southeast Queensland, which will soak up all the enormous amounts of solar energy which are just being dumped and wasted when there's too much solar at some periods during the day. All that solar will be then uh, used when those batteries unleash their power between 6 to 9 p.m. in the evenings. That's when your peak energy costs are. Guys, you get home from work and have a look at your electricity bill. You'll be shocked by just how expensive electricity is during those periods of time between 6 and 9 p.m. Queensland-based Libra Energy is building a four-hour battery which will be developed near Ipswich in the state's southeast. Now, apparently, the project includes plans for a 150 megawatt solar farm, although that part of the project may not happen until in the future. The first biggest priority for the company is this battery. And the company is this a private company. They are planning on doing what happened in Adelaide. What happened was many years ago now, more than 10 years ago, Elon Musk said, we'll solve Adelaide's problems, your blackout problems, you keep having blackouts, and when were the blackouts happening? Happening at about 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m. People come home, turn on their air conditioners. Same thing as in Queensland. Elon Musk said, we'll solve that by building the, one of the world's, I believe at the time it was the biggest battery in the world. He said, we'll do it within 100 days. If we don't do it within 100 days and it doesn't solve your problems, it's free. Well, the rest is history. The company that actually paid for that made so much money on that battery that they actually contracted Tesla to double the size of that battery two years later. The focus is narrowing now in Queensland to delivering standalone energy storage systems. And that's what this battery will do. Soak up all that excess solar and enhance the security of Queensland's grid. So a lot of people complain they don't like renewables, but these are the people who don't like change. And the Queensland grid is not that, it's really not that stable. This will improve the stability of the grid. Queensland is home to more than 1 million rooftop solar installations. And the government is targeting 70% renewable energy by 2032 and 80% by 2035. By 2035, there would be no more coal-fired power. Coal-fired power is currently the number one source of electricity in Queensland. But that will change very, very quickly. Now, keep in mind, 1 million rooftop solar installations. A lot of people are not making much money for the solar that they're sending, the power they're sending into the grid, because a lot of that solar is being curtailed. It's being wasted. But what this means, guys, by about 2030, when there's a number of huge batteries in Queensland, these companies will start paying you more money for your solar power because it will be more valuable to them because they can actually use it. Right now, they can't use it. But by then, when they have these big batteries, you'll actually get more in terms of the, the payment they make you 
per kilowatt hour of energy you send into the grid, which is a big positive. Right now, it's seen as being a problem for them. In the future, it won't be the same. It'll be like you have gasoline or petrol or something and they really want it. And they'll be saying, please, please, please give it to us. That's when you'll be able to get more money for it. Libra chairman Rod Stevenson said, with so much solar power being generated in Queensland, it is essential to proceed with a mega battery to soak up all the excess generation. We need initiatives that help boost storage capacity in the energy grid, he said. Queenslanders have installed record amounts of rooftop solar with the expectation of reducing the cost of their own energy usage and selling excess generation into the grid. For this to happen, grid scale batteries necessary to ensure Queenslanders can continue to sell their excess energy into the grid, but also to get good prices for that energy. The Breba battery is being developed on an estimated 15 hectare site near Rosewood, and this project will connect to the national electricity market via existing power link transmission lines that travel near this site. So no changes need to be made to the grid. When will the battery be live? Well, apparently it'll be live and working in operations in 2027, around about two years from now. There are a number of other mega batteries coming to Queensland, but many more coming to places like Western Australia, Melbourne or Victoria, and New South Wales. In fact, Australia is third in the world when it comes to battery deployment plants. China is first, miles of everyone else. America, the United States is second, and Australia is in third place for the amount of batteries we plan on building, which will turn Australia into an energy superpower. When I say energy superpower, what this means is it will bring down the cost of electricity to a marginal rate. Electricity prices should come down, theoretically, by at least 50% by 2035. So that's good news for you guys in Queensland and for everyone else in the country.